guys. So, Brock, what curious. is the most innovative project you've been involved in so far? Um, well, I, I think the work that we're doing down in Puerto Rico, uh, or the collective work that we're all doing in what we call the blockchain, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are both, well, the blockchain itself is the most innovative. Obviously, I've done many things within that space. Um, but we, the collective we, yeah, that's, that's definitely the biggest innovation. My individual biggest mission is definitely what, you know, I'm trying to do to help contribute to Puerto Rico's, you know, future. Awesome. And uh, so what, what passion brought you to, what, what brought you to Puerto Rico? Helping people. Helping people. Not that they need any help, but, you know, right. I'm there to contribute in the ways that I can. And I've got some unique skills and tools that, uh, you know, I can bring that will hopefully make a very big positive impact in their lives going forward. And Emma, what, what got you involved in Bitcoin? I've been doing digital currency since the late 90s, so I mean, it was, it's been part of my story a long time. That's awesome. And uh, as a fanboy, I, I have to ask some fanboy questions. Is that, is that cool? Okay, so I, I, as a kid, I watched you in First Kid. And, and what was it like being a, 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 a child of a star? Well, I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a, anything else. Right. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't experience what it's like. I mean, I could ask you the same question. What right. was it like to be a 14-year-old? Right. Um, I'm sure it's difficult, like it is for all young people, trying right. to like figure out who we are and where we're going and what we're going to do in our lives as we're just kind of getting it all figured out. It was exciting. I mean, it was interesting to be able to travel around the world. And I mean, it was lonely right. in a sense that, uh, you know, I was didn't like stay in a school for an extended period of time, always moving. Imagine being like a new embassy every three months. Right. It's kind of like that. And, uh, and what was it like working with uh, Sinbad? Was he as funny in movies as he is in person? All the time. All the time. And just an amazingly wholesome man. Yeah. And very into technology. Like he's forward thinking, smart, cool, you know, a guy you'd want to hang out with as much as you can. Cool. Well, Brock, I, I appreciate this time. It's yeah, very humbling you. being here with you. Appreciate I'm it. a very small YouTuber. Oh, good. And it, it just feels good. All, all things have small beginnings. Right. All I, big things have small right. beginnings. I, I, I appreciate the time that you've just given me. It means a lot. I could I could almost cry at this point because you were you were what I was. Show 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 how you cry. <laughs> uh, you don't, please don't start crying because it all start crying. No, <laughs> you, you are you are what brought me here initially because I've been following you for a while, and I'll send it to them because I'll I'll end up in tears. So. Thank you, brother. I appreciate. it. It takes the team, the whole team, and all this teamwork to make this right. grand right. dream that we all envision. Work. I, I, I've been in it for a couple of years, and, and you were you were one of the dudes that got me in. And financially, you know, it's not all about the money, but but it's helped. You know what I mean? No, I mean this whole chain, the economic incentive and the impact that it's having. That's the fuel that's giving us the ability to make this impact. You know, we could all be sing sitting around singing Kumbaya, my lord, but without any resources. I mean, this the, the, the architecture of this is so brilliant because it's providing the fuel that continually gets thrown on the fire to make the changes that we all hopefully dream are possible right now. Right. And that collective dream becomes reality. Right. Well, Do you agree that uh, Rob Pierce right now is like the number one influencer in the Crypto space? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, he was already a uh, like a a national figure. You know what I mean? Like he's a well-known name, and then you attach that to Bitcoin, it only helps the innovation of the whole process. So I mean, I don't know. I, he was one of my influencers. How old are you when you first uh, inf were influenced by Brokius? His name? I was like. <laughs> 14 maybe? I mean, I watched him in the first kid with Sinbad. I, mean, I was a Disney Channel kid or whatever. And then to see him get involved in a, a digital currency like Bitcoin that I was that I already had a passion about, it just it just magnified my fanboy for Rock. Wow, you honor me. <laughs> so thank you. Thank it. you.